Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be discussing how to use Zoom breakout rooms. Now, if you already know how to use it, this is probably not for you, but you can watch it anyway. Hope you enjoy. In today's tutorial, you're gonna learn how to use breakout rooms. Before getting started, you will have to enable this feature from your account, but from the browser, not the Zoom software on your computer. Those settings will be different. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on settings, then click on in meeting advanced and right here second option breakout room make sure that is checked on and you'll know that it's on because it'll be blue another way to find your breakout rooms in settings is to press Control F which brings up a search bar at the top then type in the word break you'll see that it found two options for break by clicking the down arrow, it takes you to either one. If you have a paid Zoom account, you can set up breaker rooms ahead of time with scheduled meetings. So let's call this breakout room. When you scroll all the way down to the bottom, it gives you an option down here to pre-assign breakout rooms. Click on the plus sign on the right side of rooms. Now let's add three rooms. Click on the plus sign three times, then click save. If your participants have paid accounts, you can either pre-add them using the CSV file or by just adding them in the add participants bar. In today's video, we'll not go into that, but we'll mostly just look at how to use the breakout rooms. Click save and let's move on. Now, when you start your meeting, you will automatically have three breakout rooms created. When you click on open breakout rooms, they will be there but you'll also have the option to edit whenever you want. As you can see, I've entered in my meeting. Once you hover your mouse over the screen, some options will come up at the bottom. When you click on breakout rooms, for the first time, you will have to set this up. So let's start by creating four breakout rooms. There's a couple of options here. Zoom can automatically evenly distribute all participants by selecting the first option, assign automatically. For example, if you have 20 people and select four rooms, each room will have five people. Next option would be to assign manually. If you only have a few people and need to be specific on who goes where and with whom, this is the option for you. Sometimes certain people shouldn't be in certain rooms. Use this selection. Finally, you have the option to let the participant choose the room of their choice not suggested if you have structured meetings. Now click create. Here's a bonus tip. Zoom will do the distribution math for you. Click recreate, then click the up or down arrow for participant number selection. You will notice at the bottom that Zoom tells you how many will be in each room. In this case, I've selected one per room. And because there are only four participants in the total meeting, they will be evenly distributed one per room. Notice as I click on the up arrow for participant number selection, the total number of participants per room changes at the bottom. Before you start your breakout room, you might want to go into options. In here, you can either allow participants to choose their own room. You can allow participants to return to the main session at any time. This is my favorite. Automatically move all assigned participants into breakout rooms. That means once you open the breakout room, everyone will automatically be moved to that room. Participants will be distributed evenly throughout the breakout rooms. The next option will allow you to close the breakout room after a certain amount of time. Let's just say you wanted to make a breakout room that would last a particular amount of time. After that time has expired, the rooms will automatically close and send everyone back into the main room. There's also an option that if you choose that, it can notify you as well when that time is up because you may be in the main room. Then you can allow for a countdown. This allows two options for you. If you check it, when you close the breakout room, there's going to be a countdown clock to let the participants know that the room is about to close. But let's just say you want to close the room immediately with no notice and send everyone back to the main room. Then you uncheck that. Those are your options. Now let's open up the breakout rooms. There are six participants, including me. Let's make breakout rooms to distribute five people. Let's select five, then assign automatically. It made five rooms and moved each person in their own room evenly. 
hover over rename to rename the room. Click on the bar or arrow next to room name to minimize or maximize. Or you can delete a room. The number on the right indicates how many are in each room. Before opening the breakout rooms, you have the option not to allow that person or particular persons in the breakout room and leave them in the main room. When you have many participants, this option is very useful. Let's open the breakout rooms. As you can see, I'm the only one in here because this is the main room. When you click on breakout room, you'll see that everyone is in their room. Let's join one of the rooms. Now I'm in the room with admin device three. At this point, I don't want to be in here anymore, so I'm going to leave the room. When you click leave the room, you have a couple of options. You can end it for all, you can leave the meeting, someone else will become the host, or you can leave the breakout room. We're going to leave the breakout room. Here's another cool feature with the breakout rooms. You can move people around. If you hover over the device, you can move or exchange. So let's just say I want to put device 5 in another room. I'll simply move them to room 3. What if I want to exchange device 5 with device 2? It will swap them out. Let's close the breakout rooms. When you close the breakout rooms, everyone is sent back into the main room. So in our first option, we had everyone automatically assigned to rooms. But we don't want to do that this time. You can do recreate. Now you can assign manually. It's created the five rooms and now you can manually go in there and assign which device or person you want to go in which room. Let's look at our next option, which is let the participants choose their room. You click on that, recreate, you can either assign them, or when you open all breakout rooms, they will have a choice to choose which room they would like to go in. You also have an option here, in case more people came in or you decide you needed more rooms, you can simply just add more. But in this case, we're not gonna do that. Let's just say you needed less rooms. You do recreate, assign automatically, recreate, and it evenly divides them up. So our breakout rooms are open, but let's just say we need to send a message to everyone in the breakout rooms. Click on the breakout rooms, click on broadcast message to all, type your message, broadcast. There you go, and a message has been sent to everyone in each room. Well, that's about it. I've discussed the most important features of using the Zoom breakout rooms. At the time of this video, it's January 2021. Periodically, Zoom will make updates and a lot of these features may change or move around. If you have any questions or comments, please make sure to leave it in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and click like, and don't forget to share.